Hi guys, I'm Matt. I'm George. And this is Weekend Car Mods. So this week we're going to be doing some plastic dip or flexi dip um, on George's roof. Uh, as you can see it started fading a little bit uh, due to age. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare the, the roof and then we're going to be putting on the, the coats of this uh, flexi dip. You can also do it for, for your rims, pretty much anything. Uh, what it does is it puts a layer of rubber um, over. So if you don't like what you're doing, you can easily just peel it off. Okay, so George, what do we have to do first? Okay, so what we're going to do is, obviously when your car drives around, you collect a lot of dust and grease and whatever is in the air. So you need to clean the car, um, so you get all that stuff off. You can use anything, um, don't don't use engine cleaner, because you're going to strip your paint off your car. Something like any kind of soap that has a, a, Degreasing a, agent has a greasing it. agent yeah. in it. And you want to make sure you clean it properly, and also don't dry it yourself, let the, the sun dry it. Yeah, guys, your your whatever you um, applying it to needs to be bone bone dry. Otherwise, you are going to get some bubbles. So the best thing to do is actually uh, to wash and clean your car or your rooms or whatever um, the night before, uh, so it can so it can dry. Uh, but we are out here in the sun, so um, should dry quite quickly. Okay, so that's all that you got to do is just get all that grease off, um, and then you can start applying the coats. Okay guys, so ready to put on the first coat, but first George, just explain what we need for this application. So we're going to need some um, detailing tape, some plastic, because you obviously want, you want to tape off the areas that you don't want to get spray on, and then just a knife to cut it. And obviously you also need some cans of plastic dip. It comes in various colors, um, so today we're going to do a black, it's like a sparkly metallic black. Um, the reason I want to go for this is I want it to match the windows back and front so it almost looks like we have a glass going front from from front to back also because this is the only cans that they had left at the store but yeah that would that would look quite nice no i want it black <laughs> okay. anyways okay guys so before you spray you want to give it a final wipe, <laughs> a final wipe down a final wipe down to make sure there's no <laughs> dust or anything on it and you're going to tape off all the areas again okay. cool sounds legit Cool yeah, guys, so we'll catch up uh, once we've actually put on the plastic because that's going to take us a while. Uh, so once we've done that, we'll go on and then we'll tell you how to put the first coat on because that's quite important. And just a, a quick tip, um, use like masking tape just to stick the plastic on. Don't worry about detailing and getting right to the edges. That's where the detailing tape comes in. So you're actually going to put this over your masking tape and that's where you're going to get that clear, clear finish. So just, you know, masking tape the plastic on and then use a the detailing tape to go around and make sure that everything is covered where you don't want spray to go in. Action! Hi guys. How's this? Okay, um, so guys, just a, a tip. Um, we use the, the front of this, but you know, it's quite easy just to put something in to the grooves and push it down nicely. Um, so you cover everywhere where you don't want your paint to go. Um, so we've done this side already. Um, now, you know, we're just going to carry on moving this around. So this blue tape is the detailing tape. <clears throat> and this is exactly where we're going to let the paint cut off. So this is quite nice tape. It's very flexible, very durable. Um, so that's why we only you're going to use it sparingly exactly where you want the paint to stop. So unfortunately, George has had a few brandies already. So I don't know how straight that line is looking. But straight, this fucking but, line is amazing. <laughs> We'll get there, we'll get there. Let me just go on the side to help finish this off. Okay. Guys, you can see this is quite flexible, which is nice. You can, you know, kind of just get it into those grooves. And that's what you want to do. Huh? I don't know too much about that. There we go. This is a haggard garage. Not. So just take your time, get it in exactly where you want it. There we go. Fucking beautiful. Okay, let me just put that down, and there we go. Oh shit. Okay, guys, so we're going to put on the first coat now. Um, so what you see that George is doing, firstly, he's got a very steady hand. <laughs> um, and, oh, Jesus, all this stuff is spraying all over the place. So it's a little glitter, or the, the actual sheen. Um, so what he's doing is a very, very light coat. That's just to help the rubber to bind. Um, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so as you can see, oh, I've, got, I've got a bit of tuberculosis there, but it's very, very light. And guys, where, where, um, 
protective masks over your face if you're standing in the direct thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to let this dry. This is this is good. As you can see, it's very very light. It's just to help the rubber just bind with the uh, with the roof. Um, so we're going to leave this for about 15 minutes. Um, let it dry because this this coat will dry quite quickly. Um, and then we're going to do five coats on top of that, and those each dry for half an hour. So it's going to take a while. So this is the first one, um, and yeah, we'll catch up with you when it's dry. Okay, guys. So the the first coat, which is the binding coat, is dry now. Um, so we're going to put in like a semi-heavy coat now. Um, so we're going to make it quite wet. Um, and then see what happens. I'm, I'm standing well away from this one. Guys, you want to basically go 50-50 over the line that you've just done. Um, so okay. go, and then that will get a nice, nice effect. And also don't neglect the corners. <coughs> so guys, it's looking amazing. Cut <laughs> there, Cut there. The nozzle's cut, man. Oh, there's that. So guys, the nozzle on this can is actually pretty shit. Um, the dispersion layer isn't great. Um, so you see, it's going to take us a while to, to do this. You'll see the, the lines that it does is quite thin. This means more, more coats will yeah. be needed. You can't even go up too high because all of this fucking glitter just goes everywhere. <laughs> How's it guys? Okay, so we've probably done about seven coats now on this roof and um, it's looking pretty good but you still see some faint lines. So we look probably going to need another two or three coats but it's looking pretty good. And as you get to the last lines, the last coats, um, you need to try and keep the spray can a little bit further away. So what you're doing is you're actually getting a much wider spray okay guys so we're on almost the last coat um, this nozzle has been a bit shit so it's taken us a lot more coats than we thought of um, so we just want to get a nice finished solid look just make sure you want to get into all the all the nooks and crannies Get into those crannies, <laughs> guys. You got to get into those crannies. Yeah, you got to get those little nooks, those little tight little spaces. You just got to get all up in there. Luckily, George has got a very steady hand. I'm very impressed with that right arm of his. Um, Fucking strong. Explain why you're going a little bit higher on this coat. Well, I did explain already, um, but <laughs> the reason we're going higher is to, to spread the the spray a bit, so we don't get that so solid get those line. Lines, yeah. We're getting a slightly wider line. Oh, it looks and good. As you can see, it's really looking better. <laughs> okay, guys. So we finished. I think we've put on about like six fucking coats on this. I think more like ten. More like more like ten coats. Um, yeah, so we're pretty happy with the uh, outcome. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks good. It's more of like a charcoal. Uh, because of all of these little glitter things in there, it brings out the charcoal. Um, but it looks pretty sick. Um, so yeah, we're really happy. You can see what happens. But us using that detailing tape, um, it allows us to get a very, very neat finish. Um, so we're very happy. It's still, it's got a last coat on, so it is still a little bit wet. Um, so once it dries out, it's going to look absolutely proper. So yeah, guys, this is uh, the Plasti Dip uh, tutorial. Uh, we might actually end up doing some, some rims as well on this because we're very, very happy with the finish. Uh, but yeah, we'll maybe do that in the next video. Cheers for now.